morning my dear students this is the second video of class 5 social science in the first video we already discussed about it. in this chapter we took a road to history already discussed about what is history that what are the difference between historic period and prehistoric period and historical remains also parkar for the museum let's continue this chapter all of you please observe these pictures Please listen that these pictures. In this picture, we can see three three items. What are they? They are related to funeral practice in ancient Kerala. These are relating with the funeral practice in ancient Kerala. What do you mean by funeral practice? Funeral practice means after death, that bodies are buried. You know that. In that place, in that ground. Uh, different types of stones. In this first two picture, we can see different types of stones. Then third picture, we can see the a huge, a big mud pot, clay pot is there. Uh, the dead body is burying. Then at that ground, placing first and second picture two different types of stones. First one is called the umbrella stone. Why this stone is called umbrella stone? All of you please. All of you observe that first picture. There is stones. First and two second picture stones. Different shaped stones like an umbrella. So first one is called umbrella stone. Then second one is called flat stone or umbrella. Then third one that is made with clay, a big pot. Then dead bodies and uh, the weapons using for that period also putting into this and burying uh, in work mud. Okay. Then uh, that is called Nannangadi. All of you listen. First one, umbrella stone. Second one, flat stone. Third one, Nannangadi. These are remains related with the funeral practice in ancient Kerala. In your textbook, page number 13, you can see our forefathers used by the objects used by our forefathers in past. Please observe this. Our forefathers used these items in past. Different items you can see for different purposes, for different uses. Okay? Instead of these items, in this time, we are using new models. New items, new objects. Let's listen to this first one. What is that first? For what what purpose this object using? For agricultural purpose. Uh, cattle, using cattle in agricultural field. These items are using. Okay, plot, that is plot. Okay, instead of this plot, which item using now? Now using tractor. To plowing field now using tractors. Then second one is that what is that? That is a port made with the metal. That is a metal port. For what purpose this metal port using? To wash our hands, to wash our legs. Okay. Instead of this item, this metal port, now we are using tap. That is using tap. The third picture, all of you listen. That is hand fan. For what purpose? What is the use of this hand fan? You know, instead of this, we are using fan. Each and every, but every, every home we can see fan. Then third one. Not third one. Fourth one, listen. What is that? Water wheel. Made with the wood. Okay. For what purpose this water wheel is using? Irrigation. For agricultural purpose, for irrigation. Okay. Instead of this water wheel, we can see nowadays electric motor. Okay. The last picture is of this and that. What is that? Last picture, antique lamp. Okay. Instead of this antique lamp, now using electric bulb. Our forefathers are using this item. Instead of this item, another objects we are using. Okay. You understand this? 
Next year, reckoning time. How to calculate that? Okay. Listen. When did India attain independence? In which year India attained independence? 1947. Okay. India attained independence 1947. Then when Kerala state formed? 1956. Before or after independence? After. So we can write here 1956. Then Gandhiji lead Salt Satyagraha. When Gandhiji lead Salt Satyagraha? 1930. Before independence. Now connecting with this year. That means India's India attained, India got freedom. Connecting with this year, we can say after independence, Kerala state formed and independence. And Gandhiji led Salt Satyagraha. 1947, India's independence. Then 56, Kerala state formed. Then Gandhiji led Salt Satyagraha. Connecting with this, we can say after independence, Kerala state formed and before independence, other than before independence, Gandhi lead Salt Satyagraha. Here, you can see a timeline. All of you, please listen to this timeline. The period of history is divided into AD and BC. Next topic is that AD, unknown only. BC before Christ. AD unknown only BC before Christ. Like this 1947. Here Jesus Christ birth. You know Jesus Christ. Christians. Okay. The God. They are uh, worshipping Jesus Christ. You know that. Okay. Here Jesus Christ birth. Then after Jesus Christ birth. That period is called AD. Then before Jesus Christ birth. That period is called BC. This is a timeline to show AD and BC. This AD is called Homer era. Then BC is called uh, before Homer era. BC before Homer era. The voice question era. Here AD. C. Listen. You all of you like cricket. I know that. How many runs make one century? He said, how many runs make one century? 100 runs. You know that. Like this, 100 years. 100 years make one century. But this is first, is first year. Then here, 100. Then 200, 300, 400, 500. Like that. Then this side, we see also, before Jesus Christ birth, 1 to 100, uh, 100 to 200, 200 to 300. 300 to 400. This, this one, this is the Christ birth here. Then after this is Christ the birth, AD before BC. Here 1 to 100, that is first century. This 1 to 100, first century. Then 100 to 200. Here 100, 100 and 1 to 200, second century. Then 200 and 1 to 300, third century. 300 and 1 to 400, 40, like that. This side also like 1 to 100, first, first, then 100 and 1 to 200, second, then. What of you say? Uh, AD 25, in which century? Uh, AD 25 in between this one and AD means this side, this one and 100. In between 1 and 100, so. AD 25, first century. Then another example. 345. AD 345. Here 300, then 400. In between 300 and 400. So we can calculate first century, second century, third century, then fourth century. But uh, uh, now, in this year, which year is this? 220. 220 K, including in which uh, AD which century. That is very difficult because here only 400 and 500,000 
then like, like that it is very difficult to calculate so we can uh, very simply do that how all of you listen that it is this 2020 identify the centuries to which the years can you identify 2020 in this century with the help of that timeline AD, BC that is very difficult to identify in which century is 2020 so very simply we can do here first this 2020 first cover these two numbers all of you raise your right hand then cover these two numbers from right side 20 then here only 20 then this 20 plus 1 is equal to 21st century once again 2020 in which century how to find that first all of you raise your right hand then cover these two numbers from right side. Then here 20 only. Then 20 plus 1 is equal to 20 first century. Another example. AD 1947. 1947 in this century. First, what we do? First raise your right hand. Then cover these two numbers. Then here only 90. 19 plus 1 20th century. You understand? 1947. What we do? Raise your right hand, then cover these two numbers, and 19 is 19 plus 1 is equal to 20th century. Very easily we can calculate that. Uh, then another example. AD 347. Here four digits, four numbers are there. But in this, here only three numbers. Then what we do? Here also, first cover two numbers from right side. These two numbers cover, then three only here. Then three plus what is equal to fourth century. Very easy. Then all of you listen. Please say, AD 255. In which century? What we do? First, cover these two numbers. Then, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3rd century. I think you understand this. First, what we do? Cover two numbers from right side. Cover two numbers from right side. Then, this number plus 1. Then, you can calculate very easily. Which century? Okay. Next year, what are the different eras mentioned in the calendar? You already know, now follows common era CE, before common era BCE, then now CE or AD, 2020 AD, otherwise CE, common era. And what are the different eras following? All of you listen, this is one calendar, uh, 2020. Here, these are common era, 2020. This one common era. In this calendar shows here Malayalam eras, Malayalam months. That is another era, Christian era, Malayalam era, Shaga era, then Hijara. Another eras. What are they? Christian era, Malayalam era, Hijara, Shaga era. Shaga era connecting with the uh, Kanishka, Kanishka's period. Okay. I think all of you understand this chapter, The Road to History. In this chapter, uh, in the first video of this chapter, we already discussed about history, prehistoric period and historic period. In that video, already give two activities to you. What is history? Differentiate between historic period and prehistoric period. I think all of you do that. Then, in this video, you have two activities also. All of you take your notebook and write the first question. What are the different eras mentioned in the calendar? Once again, what are the different eras 
mentioned in a calendar. Yeah, write that. Then second activity. What of lesson? Identify centuries. Here, century. Then AD 2090. First write this. AD 2090. Then second. AD 1847. AD 1847. Then uh, BC 261. BC 261. Another one. BC 326. All of you write this in your notebook. Two activities from first video and two activities from this video. All of you do that and through WhatsApp send to me. Okay. Thank you.